you know, number one is climate is becoming more dangerous. We're far safer than ever from climate, thanks to what I call fossil fuel climate mastery. Uh, maybe I'll even get more. But, you know, another one is just that today's level of CO2 and temperature is unprecedented and high. In fact, it's very low in terms of the history of the planet. And we could have, we could live on any planet that's ever existed, in the, even when fi CO2 is 15 times higher, temperatures are much higher. It would just be a rapid transition. We might not want to, but there's no such thing as CO2 making the Earth unlivable. That's very important. Um, number three is far more cold-related deaths than heat-related deaths. Number four is that um, warming is expected to occur and has occurred more in colder regions at colder times of day and in colder seasons. So it's like a global thawing thing, not the equator getting super hot. Uh, another one is that it's uh, warming is a, is a diminishing you get diminishing returns on more CO2 in terms of warming. So it looks like this, it doesn't look like this. It's got logarithmic or diminishing effect. And then that the particular scenarios, even by the very biased UN, uh, none of them are, are truly problematic if you factor in climate mastery. So none of the things they talk about with sea levels say, they talk about three feet in a century in extreme projections. We have 100 million people already living below high tide sea levels. So those are the six facts, I would say. <laughs>